Let's create your lead magnet and grow your email list. Timestamps below, along with some other helpful links and resources, including a link to our sales funnel playbook and free template bundle. More on that when we get to how to actually deliver your lead magnet and set up a simple funnel to actually grow your list. But first, let's talk about lead magnet ideas, right? What on earth should we be offering for free in exchange for that oh so important contact information? Now, of course, we have to start with the fact that this needs to be valuable, right? Because if we just give something that we threw together at 3 a.m., well, people are gonna notice and then they're not going to want to actually open our emails or purchase our products or services. This is our opportunity to put our best foot forward. So what can we make? The first thing we can put together is a template. We could also put together a planner or we could put together a audit. These three are my favorite to start with. I'll go through some examples of each. Now, the next three, they work just, can work just as well. I just tend to gravitate towards these first ones. You could also make a resource guide. You could also come up with some sort of report. And then of course, video training or webinar, right? And since those take so long to put together, we're not even going to bother talking about that today. You should definitely start with a text-based one. So here is an example. We'll just scroll through it while I ramble on of our Google Ads playbook. And so what this is, is a simple PDF that walks someone through the particular settings they should be using for their search campaigns, how to do research, how to organize their ad groups and campaigns and find keywords and all that other fun stuff, including how to actually go through and start optimizing their campaigns. And so the whole purpose of this extra long PDF is just a template of here's how we set up campaigns, Here's how you can do it for yourself. And then of course we have a strong call to action at the end, but we'll get into that when we actually start talking about creating your lead magnet. Our next example is a simple Google sheet where we offer a content calendar to people who are interested in putting together a content plan. And so as you can see, it's nothing super fancy. It just helps someone go through the process of making a plan. Now you'll notice a trend here, but we have one more example or two more to go through. So this is an example of another Google sheet we've built called our UTM builder. This this is more like a planner slash organizer. And then finally, here is a quick scroll of something we used to offer, which was a Google Analytics audit. So someone would go through their Google Analytics account and see everything that's going wrong. Now, I'll leave a link in the cards in the description to a much deeper dive guide that goes through lots of all of these ideas, lots of all of these. What a great way to say that. Lots more ideas and examples, of course. But the key here with each one of these is they are a quick win, right? Because no matter what type of lead magnet you decide to put together, we need to deliver an immediate result and give them an immediate aha moment so that they at least have some forward momentum feeling, right? So we don't want to give them something that's going to take them three weeks to put together, right? Because that would not really work all that well, unless you want to wait around for three weeks for those people to hopefully take action and maybe open your sales email. I'm going to assume you probably want to make sales and get some people on the phone faster than that. So let's go through what on earth should your lead magnet be about. Now, there are lots of different ways to do this, but because we are going to focus on creating a template, some sort of planner or audit, resource guide report also works as well. Please don't try and put together a webinar as your, as your first go at a lead magnet. You want to think about what are the results your ideal customer is after, and then what are getting in the way. So as a quick and dirty example, let's say we're making a lead magnet for someone who's trying to grow a YouTube channel. Well, results, they wanna be full-time, they want to have life freedom, and then on the roadblock side, well, obviously they're not happy with their growth, the number of views, maybe they think they need better video quality or ranking better, or whatever the thing might be that's preventing them from enjoying that results column. And so you can go through this process, 10, 15 minutes is all you need, and then look at that roadblock side, and then look at something that you can help them start or solve in less than 24 hours. This is really important. So going back to our list here, if we went on the results side and wanted to create a lead magnet, how to be full-time on YouTube, or get to travel full-time, well, you're probably not going to be able to help them go full-time on YouTube in the next 24 hours, right? Like that's probably physically impossible. But when we look at the roadblock side, we could probably help them start to fix their video quality, start re-ranking videos, give them some ideas on how to create a better content plan. And so the whole point of your lead magnet here is to identify where they're struggling and then get them to step one. 
We're not trying to solve everything under the sun here. We just want to get them that quick win, that little sense of momentum, like they've actually accomplished something. Then they're much more likely to open your emails and of course actually purchase whatever your product or service is. So hopefully you have some idea of one type of lead magnet that you can create. So now let's talk about how to actually put this together. Now the good news is you can use all free tools. In fact, the examples I showed earlier is all available inside of Google Drive, right? I use actually Google Slides to put together our PDF playbooks and I use Google Sheets for everything else because I'm a closet Excel nerd. And if you really want to keep things simple, then you can use Canva even if you're using the free plan and you can easily put together a awesome looking PDF guide. So there's actually a separate video where I go through exactly how I put together these different title pages because that's going to take you the longest and then also how to actually bring in content and structure it in a way where people can actually enjoy it. Plus, you can actually create editable fields so you can create drop down menus and people can type into your PDF. So I'll leave a link in the cards in the description to a full blown Canva guide that goes through exactly how to do that. Now, no matter what software you decide to use, at the end of the day, our lead magnet is supposed to be a stepping stone, not only for them to get an immediate result or start taking action to overcome a roadblock, but we also need them to take action with our sales process, right? So at the very end, whether it's a text or video or whatever else you're doing, you need a clear call to action on what you want people to do next. So here's some examples from some of our lead magnets, whether it's purchasing a digital product, booking a strategy call or taking some sort of other action that leads them into your sales process, you need to have a clear call to action at the end of your lead magnet. It's not salesy, it's totally normal, and guess what? If people found value in the lead magnet, then they're naturally going to want to know how else you can help them, right? Because if they go through your lead magnet, they're like, wow, this stinks. They're gonna see that and go, well, you know, this lead magnet stinks, so their paid stuff probably stinks too, so, why bother unsubscribe or spam, right? Versus they go through your lead magnet and they go, oh, that was actually pretty cool. What else do they have? Or, oh, they sent me another email the other day, so maybe I should check it out, right? We're leading with value, and the more valuable our lead magnet, the easier our sales process is going to be. Now, of course, once you've come up with an idea, you've hopefully put it together using Canva or some combination of Google Drive or whatever tools you like using, then of course we have to talk about deliverability and how do we actually set all this up. So you're going to create something called a lead magnet funnel. So here's a quick diagram and then I'll show you exactly what this looks like using a free piece of software. So first we have our landing page. So this is where we say, hey, we have this awesome lead magnet. Give us your name and email or just the email and we'll ship it off to you immediately, right? It is important that you actually give it to them right after they opt in, right? I'll, I'll show you how this works in a moment. And then of course, an email goes out, they get their lead magnet, and then we follow up with three to five emails offering whatever the next step of our sales process is. Normally this is going to be a low ticket enrolling offer or jumping on a call with you for some sort of coaching, consulting, or services. And so when you go through this process, you are completely automating your list growth, right? Because you don't have to have any personal contact with each individual person or manually send it out. So here's how it works from a tech standpoint. I will leave a link in the cards and the description to a full blown guide that goes through exactly how to build out a lead magnet funnel using a free software called systemi.io. You can also use something called MailerLite. So this is our actual MailerLite account for this particular channel. You can see here that our landing pages do decently well. And so if I go ahead and let's say, I'll scroll down to this one and preview, you'll see that it's a very simple page. We have a headline, a picture of our lead magnet. This was created in Google Slides. And then three simple bullet points and a place for their name and email. And then once they enter their email here, or just their, this one's just their name. I don't know why I said name. It's clearly only shows email. So once they enter their email, then they start in our automated sequence inside of MailerLite or Systemi. I'll leave a link to both in the description. If you decide to upgrade, we receive a commission as a way to support these channel, but those are definitely the best two to start with. And so the first email they get delivers a lead magnet. As you can see, there's a giant picture saying download now, right? And then we go through a simple couple of emails over the next few days, driving traffic to our sales page. And so this all happens automatically. And the way we share the lead magnet in the first email, because I get a lot of comments on this, is we simply use Google Drive. So here's one of my Google Drive folders. You can see I have a couple of lead magnets in here. And all you have to do is upload your file. And then let's say this is what we were offering. 
I'll go ahead and right click. I click share link and I set it to anyone with a link can access. I copy this link and that is the link that's pasted inside of this first email. So that's all you have to do to deliver whatever type of lead magnet you're offering unless it's a video training. Obviously, then you need to put it on a page and uh, don't just ask people to download a, a giant video file every single time they opt into your list. But that's all there is to it, to creating your lead magnet and actually using a very simple process to deliver it, to grow your email list and actually start generating some leads. So if you have any questions about this process, go ahead and comment below. I still read and reply to every single one and hit that like button and subscribe for more marketing guides just like this one. Check out that free template bundle in the description description, you can literally copy and paste all of our best performing landing pages directly into your free systemy.io account. And until the next, keep building the business you love.